Hello Phoenixies, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you another handmade doll. So over here, what I'll do is that I'll take some cardboard and I'll start drawing the body shape of the doll. So once I'm done, I'll just just cut those parts out and then I'll make three of them equally so that it can stick together and give me a thick piece. So I'll just put some glue and start sticking them together. After doing that on the body, I'll do it on the head as well. So now once these two are dried, now what I'll do is that I'll make some white paper coiling, uh, some tissue paper. Now what I'll do is that I'll take some newspaper and I'll start making the coiling. So as you can see, I'm going to make hands and legs for the doll. So that's what I'm going to do over here. And I'll start applying it on top of each other, just giving some layers. Once that is done, just to stick the doll. Just to stick the body and the head of the doll, I'll just make this. And we want it to be a movable doll. So that's what I'm going to do over here. As you can see, the head is moving. Now again, I'll make another coiling and I'll start making the other one as well. So now leaving some part out, I'll just start covering it more. This will be the joint for the leg. So I'll just start applying some newspaper over here as well. Okay, so once it's done, I'll just repeat the same thing on the other one. And then two of these will be the hands. So the legs and the hands are now ready. As you can see, I'll just fold it from the joints. Now I'll just apply it onto the doll's body. Now I'll also apply the legs. taking some cardboard cutouts of the hands and the feet so I'll stick that as well so now as you can see the base of the doll is quite ready and I've not used any paper clay or craft wire anything like that in this so now what I'll do is that apply some tissue paper clay. It's very very easy to make. You just have to use some white glue, some water and some tissue paper pieces. And then just mix them together to make this paste. So I'll just start applying it over here. Once I'm done doing this on the face, I'll also put some nose and ears as well. Just some tiny pieces of the tissue paper clay. And then I'll use my tools and I'll just smoothen out the edges. So now once this is what it looks right now, I'll start applying the tissue paper clay onto the other side as well. And then I'll start applying it to the other body parts too. Just like the leg and the hands for some nice thickening. After doing it onto the body as well, this is what the shape I'll get. So guys, this is a very nice alternative which you can use instead of paper clay. It's very easy to make and it gets dried very fast just like paper clay also. Now after it gets dried, I'll take some sandpaper and I'll scrub off the edges and make him smooth. Once it's done, I'll start painting the doll's body and I'm using acrylic paints over here. You can use fabric paints instead. Now 
over here I'll paint the head too just the color of the hair which I'm gonna make so I'll paint that over here brown then I'll paint the facial expressions too so this is a close up which I'm gonna show you how I make the doll face because a lot of you were asking how I do that so this is very easy guys so you just have to take a very thin brush and just paint it according to yourself once the doll is ready now let's make her dress and this time I'm going for a Indian wear and for that I'm using this very beautiful blue color satin kind of fabric and then this dark blue will be for the blouse and I'm gonna make a sari so that's what I'm gonna do over here So as you can see this is how I'm making the blouse of the doll. I'm just cutting out the edges and then I'm making that. So guys these will be the sleeves and I'll just stick them together. Once it's done I'll just use some glue and I'll just dust some glitter dust on the places of the glue because I'm going for a very beautiful blue and golden colored combination for this sari so that's what I'm gonna do you can also use some rhinestones instead or some sequins or anything you like for the show but this time I'm just using some glitter dust because it's very commonly found and you can also make it like this so once it's dried I'll just brush off the axis and this is what it looks right now so after making the designs I'll start sticking it onto the doll's body And this time again I'm making no so dress so that's why I'm just using some glue and I'm sticking them together no needles and thread required once that is done now for the turn and it's the main sari so I'm just using this paper wrap it's a plastic paper wrap and I'll just just use it for the bees so that the glitter dust does not stick on it more properly and I'll just use the same glue and I'll start making some designs for the sari. I'll also make some dots over here so that this looks very elegant golden colored and designed sari. Once it's done, I'll just take out properly and as you can see this design is ready. Now I'll take my board and I'll start putting some white highlights over here as well. Once that is done, I'll just tie it around the doll. Now I'll make the pleats using my fingers. So guys now once the sari is properly tied around the doll now I'll take some golden lace and I'll cut this part out to make the jewelry
again guys you can use any kind of gems or anything i'm just using this because that's what i basically do and then some uh, glitter foam sheet for bangles in the same color as the dress and now for the hairs of course i'm gonna use some brown colored wool and i'll just wrap it around the cardboard once i get this thick part i'll just use my scissors and cut it out and i'm going for long silky open hair kind of look so that's what i'm gonna do i'll just brush it out and smoothen it and once it's done as you can see this is what i get over here now i'll just put some glue and i'll take another strand of the wool and stick it over here just for that middle parting and then i'll tie it along from the back side and then cut the axis so i'll just trim off the hairs and make them look even once that is done i'll just put it onto the doll's head so now i'll just put this uh mantika if it's called and tada guys this dress is ready this doll is ready and it looks super super beautiful guys so if